This is really... Okay, there you go. Hey guys, this is Nian, and this is Beauty in a Snap. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to repair your broken makeup products. Like we all know that when you drop an eyeshadow palette or a highlighter and it cracks, it is the worst feeling ever. I'm gonna show you a few ways to repair your makeup to make it last longer that doesn't really break the bank. It only involves a few steps and it's super easy, so follow along with me and I'll show you. So first up, we have the classic broken powder product. So this here is a NYX broken blush. I did not have to witness this being broken, but it is sufficiently shattered. But what we can do with this is we can revive this powder using just two products, isopropyl alcohol and saran wrap, which you probably have lying around your house already. So I'll just take a little bit of the isopropyl up here and drip that over the powder where I want it to adhere. Then I'll take some saran wrap and I'm gonna lay it over the powder like so. This is really just to keep your hands clean like this. And then I'm going to push the powder back together like so. Keep in mind, it's not gonna look like brand factory new, but it is going to revive your powder product so you can use it again. So now we have the, the moment of truth. Did this work? Let's see. Ta-da! Brand new, okay, well it's not brand new, but you can use it again and it's still wet, so you're gonna wanna leave this out to dry for, you know, 15, 20 minutes, and then your powder will be revived and you can use it again, look. You can literally tip it over and nothing's coming out because I fixed it. So next up we have a dried out cream shadow, which is also another very sad, sad makeup blunder. It's actually really easy to revive products like this. You don't have to throw them out. All you need is some saline solution, contact lens wearers, you probably already have that on hand, and a little mixer tool. So what you're gonna wanna do is put a few drops of the saline directly into the pot. I'll do three for safety, you can always add more if you need. So then you start mixing it with your little mixer tool. It's not gonna feel great because you're essentially destroying it, but you're injecting a little more moisture into it and then you can use it again. Boom, look at that, brand new. It's like I didn't even have this for three years. And last but not least, we have the broken lipstick, which I have here. Oh, there we go. So this one's actually the easiest one in my opinion. All you need is a little tub to put this broken piece of lipstick in. And I have that right here, a little Petri dish. So without a lipstick mold, you're not gonna get your lipstick to look exactly like it did when you got it from the store, but you can put it into a little Petri dish and create a little lip balm with it. So all you need to do is stick it in the microwave. And there you have it, three easy ways to revive your broken makeup with general household items. And the best part is none of these took more than three minutes flat. <laughs>